Screen Overview. The screen is designed for ease of use in the field and displays certain information at startup. The top of the screen contains the horizontal distance scale and vertical scale on the side, which can be set in either feet or meters, which you may choose, and is discussed in another segment of the video. On the right side of the display, you'll see high visibility icons that are selected by rotating and pressing the control knob. At the upper right of the display, the circle with the cross is the GPS strength indicator. A gray color indicates that no satellites are being detected. A yellow color indicates that some satellites are being detected. And a green color indicates that the maximum number of satellites are being detected. Please note that the Easy Locator HDR unit should be powered up outdoors with a clear view of the sky. This will ensure that the GPS unit begins to detect available satellites. The battery status indicator can be found to the right of the GPS indicator. The color bar indicates battery strength. Green indicates high charge. Yellow indicates medium charge. And red indicates low charge. Each lithium-ion battery should last approximately two and a half to three hours. Up to four batteries can be connected to the small wheel HDR unit, as well as the battery bag on the rough terrain cart. However, only two batteries are required to power the system. The following icons will be seen in the acquisition screen prior to beginning a survey. Please note that the functionality of these icons will be described in more detail in another section of this video. Quit. Start. Camera icon, if screenshot option purchased. The wrench icon, or tools menu settings. Full screen. Background removal. Contrast. Time gain. If Auto Gain is selected, then this icon will not appear. The following icons will be seen in the acquisition mode. Stop. Camera icon. If screenshot option is purchased. Hyperbola fitting tool. GPS marker. If GPS marker option is purchased. Full screen. Background removal. Contrast. Time Gain. If Auto Gain is selected, then this icon will not appear. Once in the acquisition mode, you'll also notice a scroll bar at the bottom and the right side of the data screen. The scroll bar on the right side of the data screen is the zoom control. And the scroll bar on the bottom of the data screen is for scrolling through a data set. This topic will be discussed in more detail in another section of this video. Other important settings displayed are 1. Soil velocity in feet per microsecond or meters per microsecond. This is an important setting and controls the accuracy of the depth to the desired target. We will discuss techniques to calibrate the depth scale in another section of this video. 2. The antenna frequency is automatically detected, which is designated as HDR mid or 450 megahertz. 3. Trigger type, which indicates the direction the surveys will be collected and the type of cart being utilized. On the small wheeled easy locator, select either internal forward or internal backward. On the rough terrain cart, select either RTC forward or RTC reverse. Time mode can be chosen, which does not require an encoder and will pulse at a given time interval. This will be discussed in another section of this video.